of you are aware that you live in a reality parallel to many versions of your universe. I've gathered you all to save your world. Is it as bad as it looks? Yes. You're needed, Kara. Something's about to happen. Something major. The universe. It's all vanishing. That does not look good. You got that right. Welcome our newly formed team of heroes. The Justice League. Where I come from, a parallel Earth. We look down on supervillains. The threat is real. Look, I was on one of the Earths that was swallowed by this wave. <laughs> well, who do we have here? Drained of power from them. Thank you, Justice League. Great Scott. What's happening? The universe, it's all vanishing. Look! Something's about to happen. Something major. I am Harbinger. This is the thing. Yeah, I figured. This is it. I won't let you go. You each possess the skills, strength, and speed to save your universe. Is it as bad as it looks? Yes. Five, four, three, two, one. Welcome back, everyone. It's Charlie. DC dropped its Justice League Crisis on Infinite Earths movie trailer, so we'll break it all down. There's a bunch of stuff going on here. It's actually going to be a three-part movie. This is just for part one because the Crisis storyline is so big. Thankfully, they're not trying to cram it all, like delete a bunch of stuff just to fit it into a single movie. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. I'll probably give away a couple copies when it releases in January. This is coming out in January. Doesn't this all feel so familiar? Like, didn't we have a version of Crisis on Infinite Earths? Oh yeah, that's right. They did that in the Arrowverse. What the hell is this? I'm asking myself the same question. One of my favorite tropes of that is that Oliver Queen, Green Arrow, was always blaming anything bad that happened at all for any reason, even if it was on a big cosmic scale like Crisis on Infinite Earths, on something that the Flash did. Like, Barry, what have you done this time? To be fair, The Flash was to blame for a lot of the mishaps that they had in their big crossovers each year. But this version of Crisis on Infinite Earths, even though I am expecting a bunch of cameos and Easter eggs, is mostly based on the Tomorrowverse line of continuity in the animated movies, which is everything that started with the Superman Man of Tomorrow movie, which itself was based on a reboot that came out of the Justice League Apocalypse War movie. So this Crisis on Infinite Earths three-part movie is meant to spin directly out of the events of Justice League War World, which was like the movie that just came out with these versions of the characters. That means Jensen Ackles' version of Batman, Darren Criss' version of Superman from Superman Man of Tomorrow, a lot of the other animated movies recently. That's why there's all this footage of the Legion of Superheroes with what looks like Brainiac 5 from the recent Legion of Superheroes movie with Supergirl. So this version of Crisis on Infinite Earths is basically meant to do for the Tomorrowverse what Justice League Apocalypse War did for the previous DC animated universe and those versions of the characters. Basically serve as like a big bookend for that line of continuity as they reboot and start with like a brand new line of continuity, a brand new animation style. As you probably noticed, the animation style of this movie is in the style of the Tomorrowverse line of animated movies. So part of the idea here is that the DC animated movies want to like completely change their animation style, introduce some new versions of the characters doing the voice acting. So they're basically trying to write that canonically into the story like, oh, they're rebooting the universe, like things will change the way that things were rebooted during the comic book Crisis on Infinite Earths. And that's why when they come back with a brand new line of continuity, all the actors sound different and everything looks different. It's a really clever way for movie studios to generally just reboot stuff that's going on. They're kind of doing the same thing in the Marvel Universe right now with Avengers Secret Wars. That'll serve as like a soft reboot and they might recast a couple of the characters. It won't be quite as big a reboot, but it's the same basic principle like Kevin Feige over in the Marvel Universe wants to tie up a lot of loose ends. Like right now over at Marvel, it's kind of a mess. You have all this old stuff that they want to reboot into the new stuff. They have new versions of X-Men characters, new Fantastic Four characters they want to introduce. And if you remember, before James Gunn was hired to come run DC and did his big reboot into the DCU, which is going to be happening with Superman Legacy in 2025, 
originally the new live action DC movies were actually building up which was like a 10 year plan for a crisis on infinite earths movie in the live action Justice League movies that would have been like Henry Cavill's version of Superman Ben Affleck's Batman Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman Jason Momoa's Aquaman all those characters basically Zack Snyder had his own Justice League trilogy but that wasn't going to be Crisis on Infinite Earths. I've already done a much bigger video about that so I'll link it below in the description. He's already detailed what the plot of his Justice League 2 and Justice League 3 were going to be. The interesting connection though is that the events of Zack Snyder's Justice League trilogy are actually fairly similar to the events of the animated Justice League Apocalypse War movie. I don't know if that's on purpose or just a coincidence but I'm sure there were a couple people behind the scenes when they were making Justice League Apocalypse War who were like you know what they're not going to do those live action Justice League sequels maybe we should use some of those ideas for our animated movie that we're going to use to reboot our animated universe. Funny how that all winds up working out behind the scenes. But just starting at the beginning of the footage and all of these trailers here you see some of the changes to the original Crisis storyline from the comics. A lot of the same character beats are still there but obviously they're all basing this on what they've done before in the Tomorrowverse movies like Justice League War World. We see their version of the Monitor coming to warn them about the coming Crisis wave that's going to obliterate the multiverse inside the Tomorrowverse with that version of the Justice League from the War World movie and a bunch of other characters that it's collected from across that version of the multiverse. They focus primarily on the Flash's point of view from the trailer in the main Justice League universe. They kind of did something similar with the ending of the Justice League Apocalypse War ending with the Flash going back to reboot that version of the timeline just because the Flash works so well as a POV character in a storyline like Crisis on Infinite Earths because of his abilities he can travel across all these other universes whether on purpose or by accident and see what's happening with the Crisis waves as we see in the trailer several times like he's traveling across multiple different universes. There are a couple scenes where he genuinely looks surprised to see the crime syndicate on Earth 3 and other alternate Earth where he's visiting a version of the Justice League that's just being formed as opposed to his version which has existed for a while like what? What's going on here? Some of the other characters that the Monitor grabs from other universes include versions of Vixen, Green Arrow, Jon Stewart, Green Lantern. Not all of them were probably on this main version of the Justice League but they're just other heroes that are active in these universes. This looks like a version of Dick Grayson Robin but he's an adult like he looks like he stayed Robin and did not become Nightwing speaking to this version of Huntress. There are a couple more crime syndicate characters like Ultraman, Lois Lane, Superwoman. This looks like Zatanna in a version of Captain Adam from another universe. Maybe some Justice Society characters involved too. This version of Supergirl is the one from the Tomorrowverse in the Legion of Superheroes movie that happened a little while ago. Not sure what the shadow creatures are that Jensen Ackles Batman is fighting. Maybe something to do with the Anti-Monitor during the movie. We see a couple crisis waves destroying different universes just like in the comics. Maybe this character from the other universe with the A on his chest is another version of Captain Adam or Green Arrow or John Stewart Green Lantern. He has the A on his chest so my assumption would be A for Green Arrow but we'll see. Weirdly they have not released the actual cast list breakdown of who all the characters are going to be in the movie. When they're on the Watcher's cosmic base and seeing this cosmic scene of all the different universes being destroyed in real time with the crisis wave from the back you can spot versions of Red Tornado in his signature cape. This is Zatara, Zatanna's father. Can't quite see who some of the other characters in front of them are. When they switch perspectives we see another version of Vixen, two versions of Superman. You can actually tell the difference because their belts are a little bit different and the symbol on their belts are a little bit different. This is just a wide shot of the Monitor's base after he's assembled everyone with everybody freaking out. There are a couple more crime syndicate characters who seem like the Flash meets or he accidentally runs into them and they try to stop him thinking that he's a villain. Remember in Earth 3 on the crime syndicates Earth they believe that they're heroes and all the regular heroes are actually the villains. We also see their version of Owlman and their version of Jon Stewart it looks like. Then we see their Lois Lane Superwoman capturing the Flash with her lasso of truth. This is also crime syndicate Flash. His name is Johnny Quick aka Johnny Allen. This is just another scene of Brainiac 5 and the Legion of Superheroes explaining the crisis wave to Supergirl like it's destroying all these different universes. They have a different looking version of the Harbinger who works for the Monitor. We saw a version of that in the Arrowverse. That actually wound up being Lila because she was originally based on the character who became the Harbinger character. So they just kind of used her for Harbinger when they got to their version of Crisis on Infinite Earths. It just kind of worked out that way. This actually looks like the wedding of Barry Allen and his version of Iris West like things start going down while their wedding is actually happening. Martian Manhunter is here, Jensen Ackles Batman all over the place of course. 
generally looks about as crazy as you would expect for a version of Crisis on Infinite Earths. I am a little sad that we won't see the version that they plan in the live action movies. James Gunn's DCU is obviously doing its own version of a build up in Justice League movies, but I don't think that he's planning on doing a Crisis on Infinite Earths movie now. Whatever his brand new Justice League trilogy is going to build up towards in the next like 10 years or so, it's going to be like a completely different type of event. The interesting thing though is that when he was teasing his big reboot like way early on he said he was making plans quote unquote he used a picture from Justice League Kingdom Come. So maybe his Justice League movies will start by adapting versions of Kingdom Come. I think that's kind of what he's going for like he wants his movies to feel very different from all the ideas that people had before and since they were working up to Crisis on Infinite Earths before like that's what the Flash movie was getting ready to set up until obviously they rebooted everything and then changed the ending of that movie. So when James Gunn came along, they probably told him what their plans were and he's like, okay, well, we're going to change everything. Let's really change it. Mostly so it just doesn't feel like a rehash of all the stuff that people were doing before. I did a couple videos about this too. There are a bunch of deleted scenes from the end of the Flash movie that were originally meant to set up things that obviously now James Gunn does not intend to pay off primarily with Henry Cavill's version of Superman in that version of the Justice League. There were going to be a couple scenes at the end of that movie where like Henry Cavill Superman filmed a couple cameos scenes like he actually filmed brand new scenes for that movie that they then had to remove where basically he appeared to Barry in the Speed Force and warned him about a coming crisis. Ben Affleck's Batman who did appear in that movie also wound up at the end of the movie getting lost into the multiverse like he disappeared into the multiverse and would reappear as part of this crisis storyline in the movies. That's how they were going to explain the original ending of the Flash movie where basically the Flash comes back changing a couple things and he winds up changing it so that Michael Keaton's Batman winds up replacing Ben Affleck's Batman on the main earth and Supergirl also winds up on the main earth with Henry Cavill Superman too and all of them meeting him at the courthouse when he comes out after his father is freed from prison. That's why at the end of the theatrical cut he comes out he sees George Clooney's Batman like originally the ending was going to be completely different. They filmed a whole bunch of scenes with Michael Keaton's Batman, Supergirl, Henry Cavill, Superman showing up and meeting with her. I did a much longer video about all those deleted scenes so I'll link that at the end of this. But in the live action stuff they just made a bunch of big announcements about Superman Legacy who the characters going to be like the new version of Lex Luthor what's going on with the new version of Superman what the plot is going to be. I just did a bunch of videos for that too. You can click here to learn about that and click here for all those Flash movie and Superman deleted scenes. Thank you so much for watching everyone stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next one.